Assalamu alaikum. This video is going to show you how I do my brows without having to plug them and yeah this is going to be my first video. I'm a bit nervous but let's see how we go. I hope you like it and I hope it works out for you the way it does for me. Let's get to it. Thank you. So the first thing I normally do is use a spoolie, a clean spoolie to brush the air out so that I can see what I'm working with. Next I'm using a brow wax. This helps me place the air into its right spaces. In this video I'll be doing just the brow, the, what is that the right brow? I'll be doing just one brow just to show you. And I'm just showing you this as well. I don't use the two. I don't use the wax and the gel together. I either use, I either use the wax or the gel. The next thing is using a pencil. You want to use the brow pencil. I try to use a brown pencil which is not too light or too dark. Just a medium brown pencil. I'm using the brow pencil to draw the shape I would like the brows to look like. I make sure I don't draw on the straight air lines that I don't want to show. So like if you're trying to create a brow, you want to use a shape where it's suitable to you and you avoid to draw the brow pencil on the straight air lines. When drawing it, try and make sure the brow you draw is as slim as possible. So next I use a brow angled brush with a brow gel. It's like a colored brow wax. This is an optional thing for you to do you don't necessarily have to use this but I like to use it to draw or to also wax down my airline so it's like it's on um, it's called egg and Esther and it's a Nigerian brand so I'm also just going through the lines I went through while I was using the brow pencil so I'm going over the lines again making sure that I don't go above or below the airline area I don't want to show so the ones I'm trying to conceal I try not to draw on them so that when I'm going to use the concealer, it's going to be easy for me to put a concealer all over it. So next I'll be using is my concealer. I'll be using a dark and a lighter shade of concealer. I prefer to use the light shade, which is about two shades lighter than my skin tone. I prefer to use that for the bottom brow line because I find that it tends to conceal the brow um, straight air for me much easily than using a shade lighter than my skin tone. Try and blend as much as you can to avoid any halo effects and um, yeah just try and draw it as easy as you can or as slick as you can. The next thing I'll be doing is I'll be using the darker shade of concealer above my brow. So with this I'm going up, up over it as well trying to create the shape I want the brows to be like. I didn't start with that shape as you can see from the beginning but I'm trying to create that shape. One good thing about using a concealer is it helps you draw the shape you want, the shape that wasn't existed. It also helps you to conceal the air you don't want. That's what I'm doing right over there. I'm trying to conceal my stray air below my brows. I'm trying to draw the shape as nice as I can. Brows are not so easy to draw. When they are not plugged but if you take a bit of time and with time you, when you get used to doing it you will get the hang of it so i'm blending and blending as i go that's the key to creating any makeup blend 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 i'm taking my time to make sure that i don't go above or over what i don't want and one good thing about using the concealer is if you make any mistake you can also always go back to your brown brow pencil and draw it back on and try and clean it up as you go as well which is what I'm doing so I'm trying to blend and blend and blend as I go <laughs> don't stop blending but you think it's as perfect as you can get I'm trying to create that thin tail brow tail and that's it basically it's easy it's just for you to make sure you remember to use Okay, over there I'm using a brow spoolie to try and make it have a natural start line. So I don't want it to look like, you know, obvious that I drew it on. So I'm trying to brush it out. And that's it. If you can see, 
the brows are not so equal and that's mainly because my brows are not plugged but one thing you should know is brows are sisters not twins sometimes mine becomes cousin anyways I'd like this is but I mean it's still workable and it's still usable and I guess because I'm doing the video it makes me more nervous although I didn't share it but I was conscious of time to quickly continue doing the video so basically that's done about the brow so the next thing I'm doing now is which I've fast forwarded a bit is showing you how I do a full makeup look I'm not showing I'm not gonna be talking about the old makeup look because the, the main video I wanted was just to show you how I do my brows but I decided to should um, show you how I do the rest of the face so if you're interested in knowing more about how I create this makeup look please do comment below and let me know any question you'd like me to answer and I'll be sure to answer them for you I hope you find the brows easy and I hope you can create it don't forget that regardless how full your brows are or how sparse your brows are Using the steps I used while I was creating my brows, you would always get the same thing as long as you follow the steps or if you can create your own step, but just make sure that you use the concealer appropriately and you use a good brow pencil. Thank you and I'll see you at the end of the video.
yeah this is the finished look and um, I hope you like it I went a bit vampy with the lips I usually don't wear makeup as heavy as this my normal go-to makeup is just my brows um, eyeliner the upper liner the uh, what's it called waterline um, foundation a bit of blush and um, a very very neutral or probably red or purple lips but today I decided to go all out since I'm doing a video for the first time I might as well just go all into it and do something quite edgy and unusual like I know like unusual from what I normally do the highlighting the contouring it's not my everyday look not at all it's just a let me see once in or twice in a year or so I don't do this every time but yeah I hope you like it and um, if you have any question and um, or if you like to recommend any other tips other than what I've actually showed you please put it in the description or in the comment box and um, I'll be sure to love to read it and hear from you guys thank you very much sisters and have a good day